For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to determine the force on members BC, CF, and FP, and then uh, state if the members are in tension or compression. So basically, they want the, the force on this member, BC, CF, and BE, which means usually when they're asking you for the force in these three members, what you want to do is use the method of sections and cut it right at the three members. So you will cut it right here. And you will treat these, these uh, members as if they were forces acting on this assembly. So let's say this force is going this way. Let's say this force is going this way. I say this force is going up in C because we have a force going down, so a force would have to be uh, going up, but it's not necessarily true. And since this one's going up and to the left, I'll say this one's to the right. It's just a guess. Now, you know this distance is 4 feet and 4 feet, so this angle is going to be 45 degrees. Now, you're going to take this assembly and treat it as an independent assembly. Right here. This is C, and this is D. And you treat the forces as if they were independent forces acting on the assembly. So this is 600, this is 800, this is C, this is D, this is E, and this angle right here is 45 degrees. This is EF, this diagonal one is CF, and this horizontal one is BC. So, you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero in the above assembly. So as you can see, CF sine of 45 minus 600 minus 800 is equal to zero. So when you solve for CF, you get that CF is equal to 1980 pounds. As you can see, it's positive, so it means it was going that way. And as you can see by the diagram, if this force is going up and this one's going down, it's obviously in tension. So this is correct. Now, what you want to do is do the sum of the forces in the x. Sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero, but wait, what you can do is also sum of the moments at c. You do sum of the moments right here. So you cancel all these forces out. And if you do sum of the moments at c is equal to zero, let's assume clockwise is positive then you know that 800 times 4, this is this 800 pounds 4 times 4 going clockwise, minus EF also times 4 is equal to 0. So as you can see, EF is equal to 800. And it's positive, so that means it was going this way, which means this one's going this way, and the member EF is 800 pounds in tension. And now last but not least, the sum of the forces in the X are gonna help us determine BC. And you know that minus CF minus CF cosine of 45 plus BC is equal to zero. So if you solve for BC and you plug in EF and CF, which we found before, you get that BC is equal to positive 2,200 pounds, and it was going the right way, which means this one's going this way, and it means that the member is in compression. So final answer for CF, final answer for BC, and final answer for EF. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.